have a handy dandy um, little camera set up here. So let me know if you love it or hate it or what. But um, okay, so today I'm gonna answer questions about um, my loaded paper towel swipe because I get questions about this more than anything else. I still get tons of questions about it. So um, I'm gonna answer some questions and then do another one for you real quick. But basically I just take paper towels. They're from Aldi's because that's where I shop, but it does not matter. I mean, like, I doubt it matters at all where you get your paper towels. Um, there might be some that are really papery and cheap that aren't going to work well. And, you know, like Viva is super, super thick, so that may not work well. I don't know. But I just get the regular old paper towels from all these, and they've always worked. And then I run them underwater, and then I squeeze as much um, of the water out as I can. And these have actually been sitting for a while because I was getting ready to paint and life happened and I had to go make um, food and take care of kids and do all that fun stuff. So um, they've been sitting here for a while. So they're cold to the touch. You know, they're a little bit wet, but they really damp. Not They're not dripping. You know, I probably couldn't squeeze water out of them if I tried. Um, so that's basically that with the paper towels. And I always have a few just to make sure I have enough in case I want to swipe more than once. Okay, and my paint is all mixed with um, Floetrol and where did I put it? Oh, um, I've added some basics back into my mix just because my cells have been wilting a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's from the heat or because I was getting a little bit lazy about my... Um, mixing. I wasn't double checking every time I thought, you know, I've got the feel down and um, I'm wondering if maybe I was just a little, you know, like I've gotten, you know, just a little bit lazy, adding a little too much water or whatever. So, but anyway, I've added basics back in. So all these have Floetrol and basics. Also my basics have, or my Floetrol has been getting really goobery um, since it's really hot out. So I have, this is, let me take my lids off, um, Arteza, Focus. Do, 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 do. Arteza. Um, this is Pearl Strawberry. I've got some. I'll change the. I will change this camera angle when I start painting, too, guys. Um, is that focusing? Do, do, do. This is Creative Inspirations Flesh Tint, and Jerry's Artorama has the Creative Inspirations. Um, which must have been where I got that. I've had that sitting around forever and have not used it because the color is just kind of, yeah, it's kind of odd for a while for me. But anyway, and then I mixed some Cerule Cerulean Blue Hue with Thalo Green um, Yellow Shade from Nova Color. I have some white and I have some Army Green that I have no idea what it is. I think it must be an Arteza color because those come in sets and I... Well, hang on a second. Maybe, where is it? Uh, yep. It's this other Creative Inspirations that I've had for a while and don't really use very much. It is Olive Green from Creative Inspirations. And I probably threw it away, but Creative Inspirations has amazing, um, so it's out. Yeah, I threw it away. Um, Pearlescence. They have a pearlescence white that's opaque and beautiful, and you can mix it with pretty much anything, and it makes that color look just gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to switch camera angles here, guys. And we're just going to pour some of this paint on the camera. Randomly, because I don't want stripes. Now, I started this technique... Whoa. Um, mostly because I did not like the, um, I like swipes, but I didn't like that swipe line that you get, um, when you swipe a single color. So I was kind of looking for options to, um, do away with that. So you're not, you don't have like a swipe line. And I noticed when I posted, other people didn't like that either. Let's leave the green kind of on that side. Um, but it wasn't just me not liking that swipe color, swipe line, I should say. I love this blue, so I'm going to use quite a bit of it. 
And the first time I did it and had really good results, I used a lot of paint and you really don't need a ton of paint with swipes. So um, I'm using more paint than I necessarily need to, but I'm okay with that because you get good results. And with the paper towels, um, I've noticed if you don't have um, a lot of paint on the canvas, it can, um, uh, the, the paper towel can get heavy and then sink in to the canvas and then leave like a bare spot. All right, let's see. Let's do a little bit more green just right down here. All right. A little more white. Put just a hair bit up here. Okay. Now, to make sure that you're seeing this. Oh, that's not focused. Focus. I'm sorry for that. Probably driving you guys nuts. Okay. So... With the loaded paper towel swipe, I am going to pour, make sure it's somewhere you can see it, right here. Pour some white. Uh, I have plenty of those on the top. Let's just do a little bit of green. Some of this peach. And a little bit of blue. There's plenty of blue up there, so I don't really need a ton of that. But anyway, I think basically what this paint does more than anything, um, since there, it just adds some paint to the paper towel to help it glide, it also adds another color so that if... Um, I'm going to need more. If you're swiping, you have another color then that you're adding to it to, like again, to eliminate that swipe line. I just covered over most of my colors, but that's okay. Where'd my teal go? But I've had great results with this, so I continue to do it. All right, so I have my paint there. I'm going to take my paper towel carefully so I don't get it on the painting, and I'm going to dip it in this paint, get it coated pretty well. There we go. Has a nice amount of paint on there. Then I'm going to carefully put it on my painting. Swipe. And see how that glides over that paint? Um, really, really well. It helps having lots of paint on the canvas, but I do find that having paint on the paper towel helps to keep from any bare spots um, when you're doing a paper towel swipe. That's really pretty. I'm going pretty slow. Not for any particular reason, except I don't want to flick this and end up hitting my pants with the Paper towel covered in paint. Ooh, that's pretty. Does that show up on camera? No, I'll do have to do a close up of that. I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna torch. Ah, my husband had my torch. Hang on a second. Pull up some cells. And that is all there is to that. And that is really pretty. Um, where's my other one? Okay, I really like that. I kind of like the stripey. It kind of looks like water and a sunset. So I am good with that. I'm going to show you real quick. Let's see. Can't quite zoom out. I'll leave a picture of this one. Um, but this is the one I did the first time I did a paper towel, loaded paper towel swipes. And you can see how much bigger those cells are compared to this one. Part of it, I do think, is the weather. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video. I'm not, I don't remember if I tilted that. I don't think I did. But um, much bigger cells, if that's what you're looking for. So I will link to this video also um, in the description bar. Or actually, I'll try and put. remember to put a little link in the thing so you can see how that one was done. Let's um, do some close-ups. 
Here we go. I love this though. I'm I'm happy I didn't have great big ones because look at those lines. It's actually really cool. Looks like looks like a sunset or something over the ocean. So I am pretty pleased with this one actually. Might be neat to do a little doodle over or something. So there we go. If you have any questions that I did not answer, um, please let me know. I will answer any questions you guys have. Um, if you liked the new video setup or you didn't like it, let me know that as well. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Um, hit that subscribe button. That helps me out. And if you hit the um, little bell notification, you can get notifications when I post new videos. We'll see you guys next time. Happy pouring.